Welcome to the support videos for workload automation series. This video will be creating a reporting job using a template from the reporting facility. The Control M reporting facility is a useful tool to access information from the Enterprise Manager database. We will demonstrate how to create a reporting job to schedule and automate your reports. The example will be how to set up a daily report for jobs that ended not okay on the day before. The first step is to create a report template in the reporting facility. Since jobs that end not okay stay in the active jobs field, we'll be using a template from under the category of active, we'll choose active jobs. To create a new template, you will click on the green cross near the top center of the screen. We've already created this template, previous day, not okay. Clicking to data source will be the control M server. We have chosen latest archive network to gather information from the day before. Going ahead to fields, we're using job name, to time, from time, and status of the job. Filters, we will filter our report by the field of status equals and did not okay. We'll leave the defaults for grouping, summaries, we will sort the order of the report by job name alphabetically. You can choose the style, how you wish your job to appear, if you will be exporting it to PDF. In report details, we choose do not generate the report now, and we'll finish. In the workload automation, GUI, you can now set up a job to schedule the creation of these reports. It's important to note that a reporting facility job must be run on a server that has a reporting facility installed, and the user has the permissions to access the report template. You can drag the Control M report form into your workspace to create a new job. Here, We've already created a job. It's been scheduled to run every day. It will be placed into the active job field at new day. Click on details. We've put in the run as, the user, the password, the server host, the EM report CLI path, which by default is in default bin32 directory, the template name, and the path to the template, which is default data reporting templates directory. The report will be output to a file. The file type will be comma separated value. Output file name, we will have it print out with the date and prev day. We'll save those. Close that. And we have created a reporting facility job. Thank you for watching this video today. You can find more information in our knowledge base at support.bmc.com. You can also find more videos at our YouTube channel, BMC Software Control M.